to the channel welcome back to another video it's code breaker gaming back with another tekken 8 character customization video this video series is inspired by the 20th century fox version of the x-men and in today's video we are going to be creating one of the most legendary and iconic x-men characters the rebel the guy who doesn't like following any orders popularly betrayed by Hugh Jackman in the 20th Century Fox X-Men movies as well as the Logan movies and the upcoming Deadpool 3. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be creating 20th Century Fox version of the Wolverine. So without any further delay, let's jump into the requirements needed to create Hugh Jackman's Wolverine in Tekken 8. Let's do it. Starting off, you want to make sure you have a character selected by the name of Paul Phoenix, as you can see pictured here on the screen. All right, that is requirement number one. So we're going to start here in the top menu for his hair. And once we go into his hair, you want to make sure you make the right selection. The selection we're going to use is going to be <clears throat> the Lee Short Center Part Haircut. Okay, you can. Now once you have that selected, let's take a look and let's see if this is the color we want to keep it. Indeed it is. We're going to keep that in black in color, which is the default. Well actually, the default looks like this gray. We're going to make it black. Yeah, that's weird. What color is that? Because it's not the gray. I don't know. So we're going to make that black, as you can see. It's only one color palette to change change that to black and again that is the Lee short center part haircut once you've selected that we're going to back out we're not going to change his eyes we're going to leave those as his default eyes some of you may be tempted to use these eyes here the sunflower but no we're going to keep them the default eyes now for his facial hair we're going to continue with the, the default facial hair. That is the closest to Wolverine. We're going to uh, change the color of that to black by pressing triangle and then coming down here to black. Brown actually does look suitable in this particular case. You guys can use your own discernment. I actually think brown looks a little bit better for the facial hair as opposed to just the black. It still looks black. It just looks like a lighter black so for the facial hair the default facial hair you want to change that to brown some of you may wish to use black I like brown for his eyebrow color we're going to change that also you can change that to brown to match the facial hair all right already looking like Hugh Jackman right I'm gonna back out of there come on back to this sub menu there's going to be no face makeup, no face paint. We're not going to tan him either, okay? So we come on back to the top menu and we come on down to the clothes. Now under clothes, we're not going to put anything on his head. Let's take a look at these. All these options are crazy. Nothing's going on his head. We're not using any full face. No glasses. We'll go on Logan, okay? We come to his entire body. Now looking over these, we can do one or two things here. And actually, I think I'll go over both of them. So if we want to make the 20th Century Fox version of Wolverine, that is the one played in the X-Men movies, particularly X-Men 1 and 2, where they all were uniform, you want to select this, the cyber suit, okay? Now, the only way to acquire the cyber suit, it is not something that you will unlock through regular game progression. You cannot unlock this with fight money or via the season uh, fight pass. The only way to get the cyber suit is to purchase it from the tech Tekken shop. It costs 400 Tekken coins, which is the equivalent to five dollars okay now you have to make sure you purchase the correct bundle because there are two you have the five dollar bundle where all male characters will have this uh, cyber suit unlockable for them and another bundle where all the female characters 
will have it unlockable for them okay so what you want to do if you want to create the 20th century fox version of wolverine you want to select the cyber suit all right you see how that looks and it looks a little different the male cyber suit looks uh different than the female cyber suit and this is very simple press triangle once you get to it there are five pallets where the females only have three and the males have a little bit of extra armor on their shoulders so you want to just simply change color palette number one to black you want to change color palette number two to black you want to change color palette number three also to black color palette number five will also be black all right and color palette number four that would be gray like such and this will give you the 20th Century Fox version of the Wolverine. This is not who this video is made for, however. In this video, we are making Logan, okay? We're making Hugh Jackman in his solo movies, all right? If you want the 20th Century Fox Wolverine, here he is. But we're gonna scrap this and come on back to the top menu back to the upper body because we're going to be creating Logan not Wolverine but Logan so we come to the upper body and this is one of the few times where you guys have seen me use the upper body stuff and we're gonna move on down here to okay here we go you want to use the aviation jacket looks like such okay you guys seeing that you want to change this to a darker color because it is a very pretty color there you can change it to this dark brown here some of you are tempted to use black I like to try to avoid black as much as possible so I'm gonna use this brown the same brown that we changed his beard and his eyebrows to Okay. We're not going to change his shirt color, his belt buckle, or his uh, his gloves. All right. So the only thing we're changing is color palette number one. We're changing that to brown. Okay. Now we back out. Come on back to the uh, sub menu. Now for the lower body, you really don't need to change um, his jeans. Some of you may be tempted and say because right now he has on the default jeans some of you may be tempted to put on a ripped jeans we'll take a look at him you know it's like Wolverine's been in somewhat of a fight you could be tempted to use uh, different type pants down here but I mean keeping it true to character the only thing you want to put on his lower body should be uh, either the jeans or the ripped jeans so here, here's the ripped jean look. Let's zoom out. Okay. Or jeans, which looks more true to character. So we're going to keep it on the default, which is the jeans. But for those of you that want to use the ripped jeans, by all means. Okay. I'm going to back out. We come on down to the shoes. Now, Wolverine does not wear Converse as you can see pictured here <laughs> Logan wears somewhat more of a uh, a boot but it isn't like a Steve boxing boot or these type of boots either because these will engulf the jeans let's take a look at what I mean you see how it comes over top of the jeans looks like a rain boot Nicholas boot let's take a look at these these would probably be a good fit okay the Niklas boots um, you don't want to go with the leather shoes because he ain't clobbering nobody with leather shoes on right so I think the best option to use would be these the uh, Nicholas boots as they do look a little more uh, rugged um, and honestly I would I would just default them as they are like do you really want to change them you could change the color scheme if you like let's take a look look at the colors they're all light colors but the boots are dark 
So let's look at brown. I don't even know what changed brown. Let's change it white. Ah, uh, see? Now they're saying it's this color here. It does not look that color. It actually looks black. You can make it brown. I'm gonna change color palette number one to brown. But to be honest with you, you guys can leave it at the default if you really like to. Color palette number two, if we change that white, we can see what it is. If we change it black or brown. I'm gonna make it black. Color palette number three. It is, oh, a little bit of detail in the boot. Um, nah, I'll leave that as a default. I'll leave all of it defaulted from there, to be honest with you. Where we back out, we'll give them a spin. We're about 85% done with uh, Hugh Jackman's Logan. Okay. When we come on out of here, we'll go to accessories, and you guys know what to expect here, right? So when we go to accessory number one and number two, they will both be the same. We're going to use the claws, as you can see here. And we're going to have to do one on each hand, overall size, front and back. What we want to do is move it down, okay? As you can see, it's kind of hovering on its arm. We're going to move it front back. So move it down as maximum as it can go. That'll be a negative 10. Left, right. Uh, so your left, right, you want that to be at... Uh, that's actually pretty good, that 4. Which also means now front back has to be changed to a... You see that so those are the options that you want to line up the um, to line up the uh, claws with the uh, top part of his arm couldn't go down any lower you could actually put it inside of his arm I mean in his hand if you want and you do that by um, well actually it didn't even go all the way in there I thought it would so since it doesn't we'll leave that at four so the numbers that you want overall size and front back width will remain at 100 those are by default you'll change up and down to negative 10 and that will lower the uh, claw from the top of from the bottom of his forearm down to his actual hand you want left right at four and you want front back at two rotate up and rotate left and right will remain at zero tilt will remain at zero and then we will confirm alright we'll back out of there and go back to the sub menu now for accessory number two we'll do the exact same thing we'll come on down here to the claws as you can see they're already selected we'll put that on well wait a minute we'll switch the equip location to the right hand you see how that looks how it's kind of hovering this is why we need to change it so move this needs to be at negative 10 to get it as low as you possibly can okay left right was that four it was that four for the other arm but you have to change it for this arm so it's going the, the opposite direction so I thought that's Let's keep it there at negative one. Then we'll come to front back, and that was a, a four. You can see we can actually put it at three. And then we'll go to the uh, front back. I'm sorry, move. Not front back, it's uh, back and forth. Which one is it? Left, right? Yeah, it's left, right. It gets so confusing. Cause like they do different things depending on which arm it is so left right you want that at two negative two move up and down is negative ten overall size front back width are at the default of zero move up and down is at negative ten move left and right is at negative two move front and back is at three okay rotate up and down will remain at default zero rotate left and right will remain at default zero and tilt will remain at default zero 
and we'll confirm that. We'll give them a spin around. Now remember, I already showed you guys if what if if you choose to make the 20th Century Fox version of Wolverine from the X-Men movies where they worked collectively as a team, you have that look at the beginning of the video. But this video is all about the Hugh Jackman Logan version of Wolverine. Okay. And this is what he looks like so far. Now you want to back out. You want to come on back to the sublet menu. We'll go to other. You pick the character panel that you guys like. We have the Tekken 8 style. We have the illustration by Johnny. The illustration by JB style. The illustration by Wolf Marker. He's my favorite. And Paul also has a fifth option by Hiroki or I'm sorry, Hiroki. Okay. Um, because I like uh, Wolf Marker, I always select his because it looks a little bit more animated, as it, though it can be played off as a custom character. Move it back out. Now, Wolverine truly does not need an aura. If you do want to add an aura to him, you can feel free to do so. Um, the only thing I would add to Wolverine, maybe, and I do mean maybe, maybe a trail. Because he doesn't need like a a vigor, a vigor aura at all. He doesn't need lightning aura at all. We have that on Storm. Um, he doesn't need a fiery arm aura or a fiery foot aura. Okay. So the only thing I would put on or on Wolverine maybe would be blue trails, and that would probably be on his arms, blue trails on his hands, like his claws are reflecting something. Um, you guys can uh, feel free to use your own discernment here. If you want to follow this uh, customization and use the trail, please do. If not, it's not a big deal. Okay. Now for his hit effect, some of you know that this is a, a character that is based on uh, Stan Lee's Marvel comic character. You may be tempted to use these comic book effects down here. You have the comic effect in English. It reads wham pow every time he connects a major hit they have it in Japanese I'm sorry Hangul and I assume I don't understand what it says but I assume it also says wham pow and then they also have it in Japanese once again I don't understand what it reads but I'm gonna assume it also reads wham pow I do not want Logan as you guys know his movies were rated R so we're not using any comic book effects here you know we keep in this gutter um, so if you ask me, I think, honestly, I'm not going to use any hit effect. I'm not going to use any hit effect for Wolverine, okay? Something blue probably could work since we already have blue trails, but I'm not going to use a hit effect. So you guys can use your own discernment here if you want to use a hit effect. Chain blue? Actually, let's try to chain blue. I don't see how that could hurt anything. All right? We'll back out. Come on back to the uh, sub menu here. We'll go to the model viewer and down to background. We're going to change this to background number two. You know, I like the dark background. Tell me this don't look like Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Tell me it don't. And I'll tell you you're lying. Okay? It's a fire customization. Simple, easy, but that's him. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, you're the guy that put a hole in the train station. <laughs> Alright, we're going to come on down to pose. You have two poses. Pose number one is what you see on screen. Pose number two. Look at that. He got his claws up. He's ready for action. We're going to stick with pose number two for the Wolverine. I'm sorry, Logan. Okay. We're going to shoot this thumbnail. And once again, you can hold R2 to zoom in, L2 to zoom out. You can push in the touchpad and use the left stick to move the frame. We'll zoom in a little bit more and we'll move the frame up a little bit more. Make sure this guy looks kick ass. Put this on a cover of Deadpool 3 and snap. 
use this image as a customization slot thumbnail with this will be the image you will see pop up on your screen while you're at the character select screen and you're using a custom outfit this is how you'll know which outfit you're picking okay we're gonna push yes here we'll push circle to back on out and we'll come on down to finish editing and ladies and gentlemen you have just effectively recreated Hugh Jackman's Logan from the 20th Century Fox movies entitled The Wolverine here in Tekken 8. We'll give him one more spin. And this 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 is this is so on point. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Code Breaker Gaming. If you enjoyed this Tekken 8 character customization video inspired by Hugh Jackman's Logan character from 20th Century Fox, do me a favor, tap the like button on this video. Leave a comment below and let me know how great of a customization job this is. And if you're new to the channel, I invite you to hit that subscribe button and I ask that you turn on your notifications so you'll be notified immediately when I upload the next video in the Tekken 8 character customization series. If you enjoy the X-Men, there is an X-Men 97 series already available on the channel. Videos of Cyclops, Yellow Suit Wolverine, Jubilee, Gambit, Jean Grey, and the 20th Century Fox version of Storm are already available. We also have the X-Men 97 version of Storm coming soon to the channel. All right. So this is Code Breaker Gaming. I want to thank you guys for joining me once again. YouTube is asking that you guys view the video in your lower right hand corner of the screen or the one in the upper left hand corner if you enjoyed this video. If you want to look at the entire playlist, you want to look at the video in your lower left hand corner. I want to thank you guys for joining me once again for this customization video. We are now signing out and I will see you in the next one. Peace.